Coco Jones in the building. Harriet. He and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Not that one. The Disney come up. <laughs> Talk to me about this whole Disney situation. Being um, a kid on Disney. Well, really, it taught me a lot about my work ethic and my persistence. I mean, people that do know my journey know how long it took, but people that are just finding me from Bel Air assume that I just got here. You just popped I've been up. doing this, you know what I'm saying? For a long time. I've been here. Back then, they didn't want me. Nah, they 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 all, all on me, you know? <laughs> they said Def Jam was even kind of sleep. You had to wake them up. No, 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 no. Tunji is like my biggest supporter, I feel. I think it's more like I was figuring out my sound, you know? I played all these roles my whole life, so when I really step out in my artistry and with my upcoming EP, what I didn't tell you is all of those things that I learned about myself off camera. It took me a minute to find that sound, though. But you got a natural sound. Well, I mean, I know how to sing, but I don't know how to tell my story in the best way. So that's what the EP is about. It's all these different sounds and styles. And I really want my fans and my supporters to help me, like, hone in on, like, yeah, girl. You're getting your pocket. Really this is your pocket right here, you know? Now, being a kid from Tennessee, how did the, the, uh, this, the whole Disney situation come about? Um, auditioning, honestly. I mean, I was doing a lot of music in Nashville, but it was, like, country music and not really what I saw for myself, but there would be these little auditions, like little cattle calls or like little commercials, and I just started doing those and building up my resume. Were there a lot of things in between Disney and uh, Bel Air? Um, after Disney, I kind of went on this journey of self-discovery. I did do a couple films, um, some on Netflix, some indie films, and of course I did music. I dropped like a couple songs independent, and then I kind of took a moment to like figure out me, because I didn't really know. And then at the right timing, I feel like that's when I started really hitting the ground running with social media and doing all this stuff on TikTok. And that blew up. And then before I know it, like, life was just different. Life was way different. Mm -hmm. how, how was the whole Bel Air situation? Was that, was that a big change? I mean, yeah, because you go from auditioning and that being like kind of all you had to do that day to working 15 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? But you always got to remember when things move slow because in those times where you feel like you are just running on empty and you ain't got nothing left to give, like, yes, you do, because remember when you was getting unemployed? You know what I'm saying? But um, it's also the balance, too, because I realized that, like, I want to be dedicated to Hillary, but I want people to know, like, who I'm not an what? actress who sings. I'm a singer who was acting on the side. You know right. what I'm saying? So I got to make sure my Fox. music is giving. Oh, Jamie Foxx! Jamie Foxx! <laughs> <laughs> but I got to make sure my music is giving, too, so I've learned a lot about balance, being on set and going straight to a studio and making sure that, like, both of those things get the best of me. Soul Train nominated... Um, Essence 35 under 35. Mm -hmm. any, any other big accomplishments? I mean, season two, we're filming that right now, and my EP's on the way. I'm just excited to like keep gaining more accolades and, and making my name in this music industry, making a name that is gonna stay forever. Who's your dream collaboration or dream producer? Um, or okay. dream writer? Ooh. Okay, it's hard to say because uh, I get this question and I, I change my mind so many different times, but I really feel like collaboration wise I really would want to work with Beyonce and we're talking just artist to artist because I feel like she has the key to like reinventing yourself and staying you know staying relevant. relevant that's hard to do it's really not hard to do you think so? the key to it is if you if you're living in your passion mm -hmm. if you're living in your dream and you stay consistent and you're not one of those people who just trying to achieve the dream because people <laughs> talk to me about that all the time if you're not really if it ain't fake if you're doing it for real and you stay consistent because you really like to do it it's going to always appear to be that way mm, to, to that. the people from the outside looking in. Mm, I feel like that's a fact. So Beyonce is the dream collaboration. Yeah, and of course I have producers. I mean, I work with some fire producers. I work with Rodney Jerkins. I work with Hit Boy, London on the track. Hit Camper. Boy, question of the day. <laughs> so look, I mean, I want to do more. I want to work with Timbaland, Missy, um, so many more that, that I just can't even name them right now. But Missy lives in Atlanta too. Okay, well, what's gotta up, early girl? I will see. Missy, got to get with her. Fresh Princess of Bel Air. She's here. Queen of Def Jam. I'll accept. I'll accept. Well, Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I'll, you know, I'll, be, you from, I'll be the. You're the from Lebanon, seven. Tennessee, though, right side of Nashville. So that's, a, that's how <laughs> You know, Jay Z and, and, and Ty Ty, them, they didn't walk you in. No, they didn't, but hey, she's still OG, okay? Just happy to be so in the she's same playing field. Billionaire OG. That that's but it's coming. Me. Oh, okay. It's coming. Same accord. Amen. It's coming. She's coming. 